Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Desolation Suicidal Gunslinger. I got my knife. I, I put a picture of it in the description of one of the previous episodes. Sorry for the microphone. I'm just gonna pull this a little bit closer. Something like that. Lots of lots of scratch in there, I'm sorry. I don't know how loud it is, but I had to I had to move it a little bit closer to me. Um So I got my knife, right? And uh, the knife is I mean, it's really, 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 really nice, honestly. Um, I uh, it was it came yesterday, so I ended up ended up just like sitting and waiting for it to come. It came at like four, three thirty four ish kind of thing. Um, so it was it was it was kind of late in the day, and I kind of sat there just waiting for it for a while. I was uh, sitting, staring out the window, reading some uh, some manga as I as I waited for my knife to come so I could be there at the moment it came, uh, because I was home alone. And uh, typically, delivery drivers around here don't ring the doorbell. Um, so I, I wanted to make sure that uh, that I was somebody was going to be home when it came and was going to be able to to notice it. Uh, and since I was home alone, that meant that I had to be the one to, you know, be there. Cause it's like a three hundred dollar package, right? I mean, it's one hundred eighty bucks for the knife, and then uh, if you if you stole it, it would be it would be less than, than you know three hundred dollars. But I paid three hundred dollars for it, right? Because uh, it was a hundred it was one hundred eighty for the knife, and then uh, thirty dollars for the saya, and then uh, thirty dollars for shipping and handling, and then thirty dollars for customs. So like three hundred bucks, right? Uh, so it was a, uh, it was, it was quite an expensive purchase. I have it now. I don't have to buy another knife or Saya again for like literally years. Like I'll, I'll, I'll be 40, 50 years old by the time I have to buy another knife, right? Like it, it they last a long time if you, if you treat them right, right? So, uh, I don't mind spending a, a bunch of money on a nice knife. Um, but anyway, it came and I wanted to do like, uh, like what people will do is they'll try to cut a cherry with um, a cherry or not a cherry, a tomato or uh, like grape or something with um, with the knife without applying any pressure to the uh, to the to the, the the fruit or the uh, and uh, <clears throat> then uh, see if they can like slice it off and make like really thin slices. Uh, the knife did not come sharp enough to be able to do that successfully. Unfortunately, but I can I can sharpen a knife to that point just fine. Uh, but it did come usably sharp, so it's not it's not dull to the point where I'd be like, yeah, I have to sharpen this. Like it's still usable, right? It's uh, it's it's definitely fine. Um, I don't have to sharpen it for probably a, a week or two. I use my knives not too too much, and I'm not cutting like like I cut veggies, right? Like. I, I cut mushrooms and, and onions and uh, I don't, I'm not cutting like squash or watermelon, none of that kind of stuff. It's uh, it's it's very easy to cut stuff, so the the sharpness doesn't have to be that sharp. So even though it'll dull over time, it's uh, it's actually totally fine, um, even if it gets a little bit duller, because uh, the stuff I'm cutting doesn't require doesn't necessitate. A particularly sharp knife like it would if I was cutting up like um, I don't know meat or something I would want a I want a very sharp knife if I was cutting up meat uh, anyway uh, the knife that I've been sharpening so our current chefs the one that I've been using the one that I'm sick and tired of because it's got that stupid bolster that's what the name of it is apparently um, that one is actually sharper or not sharper um well they're 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 the the knife that i've sharpened and the knife that i bought from like handmade handcrafted hand sharpened you know by the, the people who do this for a living they're equally sharp they they both cut equally well so it was kind of a confidence booster to uh, to see that because um you meant that i'm doing a, a fine job of sharpening i have to make sure that i'm a little bit more even on it um, and taking off less metal at a time, especially now that I have a uh, uh, a metal that's easier to sharpen than stainless steel. 
which is uh, we're using like uh, boost off or something uh, pre previously which we're uh, you know a, a very hard steel so you have to do a lot of sharpening before you actually sharpen it whereas with the uh, the carbon steels my understanding is that uh, you take off more metal with each pass um, so then I uh, you know I'll have to be extra careful with that make sure I'm not taking off too much and it'll be fine but you know I'll, I'll see when I sharpen it if you're if you're doing if you're sharpening right you should never have that be a problem really um, it was mostly the first time I went through with it I kind of messed it up a little bit and then as I kind of like learned it a little bit better I don't really take off like it's 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 an even it's an even thing I've been working on um, so I cut up I went and just made some like uh, a veggie stir fry last night because I was I wasn't really hungry but I wanted to chop stuff up with it because yesterday I had uh, actually I ate my parents food yesterday for uh, for for dinner because I, I'm just honestly I'm sick and tired of the small fridge and like dealing with it uh, so I've decided I'm gonna eat some of their food from time to time if they offer it to me um, just to make my life easier because like going for that tiny fridge is, is a major pain in the butt um, so so I've decided to just if, if they offer it to me if they've got the extra food I'll take some um, and if they don't then I'll just make my own you know until I have my uh, oops until I have my uh, my new uh, fridge which is uh, is going to be a little bit nicer, um, but I wanted to chop stuff up because I didn't ha I didn't get to chop anything up because I didn't have uh, I wasn't actually preparing food yesterday, right? Um, so I I just went and made a quick like veggie stir fry thing, chopped up some mushrooms, some onions, and uh, pepper, and just fried it up with uh, a little bit of chicken broth and soy sauce. It was fine. Um, but it was mostly because I just wanted to chop it, and then I'm like, well, I have to do something with it, so... Um... I, uh, I did that, but anyway, the, uh, the knife that I got, it's, uh, it's a Santoku knife. It's very, very thin. Like, the knife itself is, is extremely thin. Not just the, the cutting edge, like, the, the primary edge of the blade, but... Like, the entire thing is super thin, and it's one fine, like, gradient of thickness to the point until just at the point when it gets like even sharper um, but uh, it's um, it was super nice for cutting onions because you know you cut the uh, the onions you go like lengthwise and then you go like horizontally so you cut like across the onion almost the whole way and then you go horizontally uh, to like slice up bits of the onion there and that we have we have to go this way, please. I have to be this way um, uh, And then you go and you, you chop it up and you got some nice finely diced onions, right? Like you know how to chop onions, of course um, But this knife is so thin that it just like Slid right through the onion when I was trying to make those horizontal cuts whereas with the, uh, the other chef's knife that I'm used to using That definitely does not happen because it's uh you have to like push it, even though the even though the sharpness of the knives are, are like similar, comparable, right? Like I, I could not tell you which knife is sharper between the one that I sharpened or the one that um was you know professionally done. Um, I could not tell you which one is 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 going to make the primary incision like easier, right? Like which one's going to slice up. Uh, like a piece of paper better or like which one's gonna cut up cucumber better or something you know like I couldn't I could not tell you which one is gonna do it better because the the sharpness the the the, the primary edge is is very very similar on both of them um, but because of the thinness of the knife it slides through the the thing you're cutting so much easier that it it feels so much sharper even though the actual like the angle of the thing and the consistency of it is very similar. The the thickness of the blade makes such a, a huge difference to it. And the thickness of the blade also kind of 
contributes to the, the strength of the blade along the like that that axis kind of thing so like you wouldn't necessarily want to crush garlic with a very thin knife like that um, because it is for cutting not crushing um, whereas with like a thick knife you can you can crush garlic with it just fine because it's nice and thick you got a lot of metal there to, to kind of absorb that impact I would definitely not be crushing garlic with uh, with this one because it's it's probably not gonna be able to handle it so well um, but it was it was it was shocking to see because I did like some sharpness test you know the three finger test of sharpness or whatever and cutting up uh, like a piece of paper a scrap piece of paper that I used for uh, for taking like notes and stuff in D and D um, and just you know they were they were very comparable both of them and uh, then I went to actually start cutting stuff and. Despite that they are comparable when I was obje like uh, observing them, it, w it was such an enormous difference that it kind of shocked me. So I was not expecting it to be the the thickness of the blades make that much of a difference, but it totally totally does. Um, the knife is also way shorter, so we've got a uh, like a proper um, big chef's knife, right? Like uh, probably whatever you have at home. If you're not uh, into to knives too much, it's probably about similar to what we've got, right? Like a normal uh, Wustoff, um, like 240 mil um, chef's knife. Like it's a long chef's knife, right? And that was until now, anyway, normal for me. Like I would, uh, I would just kind of accept that. It's just that's that's just the size of the knife, and it's fine, right? Like there's no problems with that. It's okay. I started using this other one, which is 170 mils, 170 millimeters, and uh, the the shorter knife is so much nicer because you have so much more control over it. You know, like with the with the longer knife, when I was trying to use the tip, with the uh, with our old long chef's knife, uh, when I was trying to use the tip to cut stuff, it was like so much farther away from my hand that I didn't feel like I had as good control with it. Whereas with this one, I'm able to hold it right there, and then the tip is just you know, a few inches away from from where I'm holding the, the, the blade. So it's like very, very precise, which was which was very, very nice. Anyway, I'm very, very happy with the blade. Um, the knife is, is fantastic. I'll have a picture of it in this description as well, though it was in a previous video. So if you pay attention to the descriptions, you might get some spoilers. Oh, I'm tired all of a sudden. I'm yawning. It's very professional. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Oh, I get all those goosebumps and stuff after I yawn now, too. Get that stretch, you know. Boy, oh boy. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. <laughs> Remember to like the video if you like. And subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you out. Look, I just got to end the video. <laughs>